what's up guys welcome back welcome back to the channel today on this video we will be doing an introduction on compound angles identities guys so i'm just gonna show you the three types of compound angles that we're going to use throughout so there are three in fact we have one for sine the other for cos and the last one for tan so let's start with the sine so the compound angle usually it's like this it's gonna be sine and then these are the bracket let's just say we have a it's either plus or minus here b now the answer this side for this compound angle it's sine a angle a multiplied by cos angle b plus or minus sine just uh, create space minus sine b and cos a guys pay attention to the first term now the first term if you can see on the other side it is always when it comes to sine it is always sine a which is the first uh, one there on the bracket bracket and then cos b which is this one here so you have to be careful of that when you do that one but then let me just do them separately so that you can see what i'm talking about all right for example if we say sine oh let me change the color if you say sine let's just say a minus b all right what will be our answer this side or well, let's just make it positive can we start with positive thank you so if we start with positive it's pretty simple really it's gonna be sine a cos b plus sine b cos a basically that's how you do it so the, the sine compound or the compound angles they're very not that difficult whenever you see a positive there and a positive there you just put positive now it doesn't really matter how you mix the sign the, the first term and the second term really it doesn't really matter because there is a positive there whereby when there is a negative it tends to differ it tends to differ now let me show you what i mean when there is a negative now the other one is like this when you say sign when you say sign a minus b now so if we have this one whereby it's sign a minus b now you have to be very careful guys remember the first term is sign a cos b so do not forget sign a cos b for the fact that we have the subtraction on the middle here we have the subtraction in the middle it means that we are going to have also subtraction here so you continue writing like that the second term which is going to be sine b cos a you cannot mix the two terms here unlike the first one you cannot mix the two terms so make sure you do not mix these two guys because it's very very important all right now we we'll have to do the cos cos is not really that difficult guys for the cos basically all you have to do is let's start with uh, the general uh, formula of it or the, the equation for it so let's start with cos a plus b or minus b is the same as with the cos is really really interesting because all you have to do here is uh, cos 
a and cos b so each the first term in fact it's cos a b and then the second term it's supposed to be sine a and sine b so this is this is this one is the one that is not that difficult to be honest with you because when you change it or when you expand it it's gonna be cos a multiplied by cos b plus or minus sine a multiplied by sine b now let's see if we change the signs now let's see if we change the sign let's say cos a plus b this time around so the way it's so simple you don't have to worry about it all you have to to do is oh with this one though the plus when there is a plus now things tend to change so with 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 this one which is cos when you say cos a oh when you say cos a and cos b be very careful when there is a positive sign here it means here we're gonna have a negative sign be very very careful guys it can get confusing with the sign compound angle identity okay so i hope you guys can able to see that all right let me continue let me continue meaning now we're gonna have minus and then it's gonna be sine a and sine b so it's just sine on the first it's, it's a cos on the first term and so yes um, hopefully this time around i won't get to step now let's do the one whereby we have cos uh, minus between the bracket now if we do this one cos let's say a minus b so this one here it's gonna be the same as this we're gonna have cos a cos b instead of minus we put positive we put positive please be very careful whenever there is minus here just know that uh, there is a positive there guys then vice versa wherever there is positive here just know that uh, there is a subtraction here so be very very careful guys do not mix the two so i hope you understand all right let's uh, continue let's continue we continue as we sign a and sign b there we go so this is a compound angle or angles for cos now the last part not least is all right guys for tan for tan it's gonna be a bit different because with tan we have uh, fractions but then for tan we still gonna have a then we're gonna have tan plus o minus b and then this is gonna be tan a plus or minus tan b over one plus or minus tan a tan multiplied by tan b we have to be very careful guys so this is the main mistake there i almost made a mistake there guys i almost made a mistake there so but what you need to know is that when you're on the other side the first term on the numerator on the numerator is tan a and the second term on the on the numerator is tan b whether it's plus or minus and then do not forget that on the denominator we have the product of tan a and tan B. so if you can remember that i think it's going to be easy for you to uh get this one to get this one right so let's try to separate it when it's positive how exactly you're supposed to 
do it. And when it's negative, how exactly it's supposed to do? For example, if you say tan A plus B, and then you supposed to, since it's positive here, you must know that even on this one is gonna be positive. Now, here's what I am talking about, people. Let me just uh, go back. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. It's gonna be tan A plus tan B. See what I'm talking about? If it means this is positive, this one's also gonna be positive. But then, when it's like that, also this means that plus minus now this one they kind of vice versa but then you're gonna have your tan a multiplied by tan b so this is when you have your tan a plus b but what happens when you have your tan a minus b so a minus b it's gonna be tan a minus tan b right and then you divide there and it's gonna be one plus tan a b tan a multiplied by tan b so it's gonna be like that guys if you can able to see how to actually do these things you will see that this is not really that difficult to be honest with you so these are the formulas that you'll be given on your formula sheet when you're writing your exam but then you must be able to know where is positive and where is negative so you'll be given the ones that i underline with the red line so do not forget guys make sure you remember that's the only thing that you need to remember when it's a sign plus when it's sign a plus b what exactly is supposed to get on the other side and when it's sign a minus b you need to know exactly what to get on the other side basically so that's what it is guys uh thank you very much for watching this video so i'm going to continue on the next video and do the problems whereby we have to use the compound angles identities so i hope you're gonna watch the other one so if it so happened that you haven't watched any of the trigonometric videos there is a playlist whereby i actually explain the basics before you come here you need to know the the basics of the trigonometric uh, problems and rules so yes there is a there is a there, there is a playlist please watch it accordingly and also share this information with your friends thank you very much guys for watching till next time do not forget to subscribe cheers